few minutes and see if we get some people on. And if you are viewing me, if you want to make a comment in the chat so you, I know you can hear me. Hi, Joan, can you hear me now? Usually my volume's okay with the setup, and I did it the same as I usually do it, so the volume should be okay. And you can't hear anything I'm saying? Okay, well, <laughs> then I might not have to, might have to cancel the presentation for today because there's, I can't do anything else about it. I only have one speaker um, and it should be working. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's something I can do to change the volume. Okay, I didn't do anything though. I think it's um, something with Facebook. They've made a few huge changes, um, but there's nothing really I can do to change it. Okay, perfect, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks so much, Joan. That's very helpful. Hi, Jane. Um, so let's get started with the presentation again, and hopefully you can hear me through this whole thing. I'm wondering if some of my old things that I use for my computer are just, um, I'm just going to have to buy something new. Um, there's supposed to be updates that happened to my computer, and I told them not to do the, it because I was trying to get my presentation together last night, and I knew it would have taken the whole time, like it takes like five or six hours to update. So after I'm done this stream, I'm going to update, and then hope, hopefully that will work. <laughs> anyway, so... Today I'm going to um, show you a whole bunch of things out of the Celebration Catalog. So that's uh, this one here. Um, and the Celebration Catalog goes from August 3rd to September 30th. Um, and this is our second celebration for this year, which is super exciting. Um, and there's a lot of great things in here, so I did a lot of cards with these. So the next one is, and then the other thing that happens today, so today is the third, so the, also the other thing is we have the new catalog. So I did send these out to most of the people who have bought through with me through the year, and if you haven't gotten your catalogs yet, um, they do ship out at weird times. Um, yeah, Joan, so it probably will ship out, um, like they all shipped at the same time, but I can't tell you how Canada Post is going to deliver them. So sometimes people get them a week later, sometimes people get them a week earlier. Jane usually gets hers a week before I get mine. So, and I only got mine I think last Wednesday, um, I believe it was. So I haven't had mine for a long time either. So here's hoping... Um, that everybody gets their catalogs, um, but, but I can't tell you how, I can't like, um, what's the word, um, track them like you would a package, um, just because they're the way they get shipped out. So I can't track them, but hopefully everybody gets theirs. Um, because the catalog just went um, live today, so it should be this week or next week that you get it. So here's hoping. Anyway, so, so the first thing I'm going to show you is on page... I don't know why I didn't go page 1 and 2 and 3 of this book. Page 10 of the Celebration Catalog, which is this cute little sheet that goes with, if you wanted to buy the um, coordinating dies, it goes with the dies. I did not buy the dies because um, I wanted to buy the paper and I couldn't buy everything. So that is this uh, counting sheep stamp right here. And 
it's a cute, such a cute stamp. So it has birthday stuff. Um, the um, dies have balloons, um, fences, uh, clouds, uh, sun, um, flags. Um, so you can make birthday cards out of them. They're super cute. Um, so I'll show you some of the things I made with that stamp. So... Let me try to go through this in an organized fashion. Okay, so the first one we're doing is the um, Fresh Freesia birthday card. So that's this one here. Um, so this one I made using the uh, Fresh Frizzy. Frieza, I don't say that, I still don't say it right. <laughs> and it's um, the in colors for 2021 and 2022. Um, this I use the stamp pad and the Stampin' Blend from the annual catalog. I are also use the Party Puffins stamp set. And the Party Puffins, I'll show you that in a minute, is on 60, page 67 of the annual catalog. I also use the Just Jade and Misty Moonlight um, uh, stamp pad and stamp and blend, um, ivory stamp and blend, the, and the smoky slate stamp and blend. So those are on, all on page 123 of the annual catalog. Um, and I'll show you the party puffins. So that's how I did the background on that one because I wanted something with a uh, birthday background, and I don't have birthday paper apparently. And so that's the party puffin stamp. And it's super cute. I really like it. Okay. And then, so the second one is this one here. So this one is, um, I used the Just Jade um, Stampin' Blend uh, card stock. I used the Ivory Stampin' Blend, the Smoky Slate Stampin' Blend, and the Pen Penguins Playmates Designer Series paper. So I'm going to show you that too. Um, so that's this paper here. And the Penguin Playmates is also a... I did have it here a minute ago. I try to be so organized and then I get unorganized. So that this is the uh, Penguin Playmates. And this is also free with a $60 order. So you can pick that item with a $60 order also. And then I used uh, this stripe one here for this card. So I'll show you that one again. That one just says you're amazing on it. And then the third card. So I used this one here. So I used the little hat that comes with the... Um, Count and Cheat stamp set, and then the sheet, um, and then I use the presents and the uh, stamps from the I'll grab it out here. So that's from the Sweet Little Stocking stamp set and the stockings um stocking dies so that one's that one there and it's this one's super cute too it's great for dog lovers great for cat lovers it's got a cute little stocking and it's got this hat so i'll show you a whole bunch of ones i use with this hat um i'm gonna show you a whole bunch of them today because i think it's super cute to use the hat so that one i use the presents um and then i cut out the presents so it would surround the little sheep, or sheep. He's not a goat. I keep on wanting to call him a goat. He's not a goat. <laughs> All right, so that's that one. And then I made a couple more, or one more. It's the sheep with the Santa hat. So this is the one I also used the uh, Sweet Little Stockings stamp set. And I also used the die. So I'm going to show you the dies.
Sorry about that. Got a few of my dyes flop on the floor, so that's that one. So I used the little hat here. So these are the dyes. So they come with a whole bunch of different things. So they come with the dog, the cat, there's a little guinea pig. Um, they come with three sizes of stocking. They come with the um, up here is the um, top of the stocking, the bottom of the stocking. And that's uh, the heel of the stocking, the bottom of the stocking. And then over here we have a the presents, the hat, sorry, the presents, the hat. Um, and they also have a little holly and stars. So they're super cute. Anyway, so that's how I got the little sheep with a, to make him a Christmas card. And I also used the paper, which is called show that here. This is called the Sweet Stockings 12 by 12 uh, Designer Series Paper. So that's that one there. And I used this one here for that one. I pretty much did a card with every single paper in this suite because it's just gorgeous. The paper is just pretty. So the, um, I really like the dies and the stamp set in the Sweet Little Stockings. And the Sweet Little Stockings is on page I have it written down here. <laughs> is on page um, 30 to 31 of the mini catalog. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, and it is the designer series paper is 1575. Um, the stamp set is the dies is 42 dollars and the stamp set is 30. But you can combine them as a bundle. And you can do them as a sweep also. So I'm going to show you that page. So that's this one here. And I just fell in love with this. It's just so cute. The dog, the paper is just cute by itself if you just want to make um, cute dog and cat cards. And it comes with some great stuff in the bundle. So. And like I said, you can order that as a sweet. So, yeah, so that's those two pages. So that is 30 and 31 of the mini catalog. And so that's it for that part. And now I'm going to go on to, I showed you the three, four cards of that one. I'm going to go on to the Penguin Playmates, um, which I just showed a few minutes ago and which is the paper. This paper is super cute. So I'm just going to go through the little, you can cut out those little figures. Those, they have bigger figures and then they have little tiny whiny figures and then they have patterns. So this stuff was really fun to play with and I'll show you how I did both. <laughs> Thanks, Jane and Joan. Yeah, he's he turned out really cute. That was like my first idea to have was to put a hat on him. And I didn't realize that stamp that had the little hat that you can kind of put on any type of the um, stamp sets that we have in our book. Um, you could probably put it on top of the, um, the little puffin too if you wanted to. Because it kind of they kind of fit properly on the little figures we have. All right, so I'm just going to get my next stuff up here. Without putting everything on the floor. There we go. So the next little basket I have here um, so this one I did with, um, I just cut out the little figure on the paper. So this little penguin, and then I just stamped it. Um, so this one is using the Penguin Playmates Designer Series paper, which is on page four and five of the um, Celebration catalog. Um, I used Real White Cardstock Tasteful Labels um, on page, which is on page 166 of the annual catalog. I also use the open weave ribbon, which is fresh freesia. 
So that's that there, and it's so pretty. The colors are nice. It's really, it ties really nice. Uh, what else did I use in that one? Uh, Memento ink, um, just to do the saying at the bottom. And the saying Snowflake Hugs is from this stamp set here. So this is on page Nobody Better, is on page. Nobody better. I didn't write that down, so that would have been helpful. <laughs> Nobody better is on page. Let me look for it, and I'll show you what that stamp set looks like. That's page of twenty-eight of the mini catalog, and I used a lot of the sayings in this one because it has a whole bunch of different sayings. But it's super, super cute. And I do love um, snowmen, so that's the reason I bought that one. Um, so the penguin one, and that one's done. And then I also did a polar bear. This polar bear one, sorry. The polar bear one is. Um, just Jade, and that's on page 123 of the um, annual catalog, and that's the, um, I used the cardstock for that one. I used the Penguin Playmates the Designer Series paper for the background, and I actually used two different sheets of it. So I used one sheet for this one and one sheet for this one. Um, and then I also used the Paste the label framework it's on page 166 for this to cut this little guy out. And then the Merry Christmas is from the. Hold on, let me grab it here. So the Merry Christmas is from the Perfectly Plaid stamp set. And I also use that a lot for my, my uh, cards. Anyway, so that's that one. And then the third one is my fox card. So I know Irma and Andrea always love foxes. And sorry, my glasses are broken, so they're falling off of me right now. And so that's that there. And then I use the cute little, um, and then I use, I cut out the big one of the paper. So I didn't stamp anything on this one. It's all done by paper and then die cuts. So that's how I got that to work. And this uh, beautiful paper here. Silver foil specialty pack. So there's three types of silver foil there. And so that's what I used on the little background of him and on the background here. Just to give him a little more pizzazz. Alright, and then. Then I did a Let It Snow card using the, yeah, using the same, the uh, Penguin Playmates 12 by 12 designer series paper, which is on page four of the celebration. And I also used with that the snowman season. So that's the stamp set here. And I also used the snowman builder punch. And that's the one here. Oh, I didn't use that for I used that for in a different one, sorry. But that goes with that stamp that goes with that set. Alrighty, and so for the colors on that one. I used 
fresh Frisia. I used um, silver. Oh, not this. I used Misty Moonlight um, Stampin' Blend in the cardstock. I used the Memento Ink. I use the fresh yeah, Stampin' Blend. I use the Just Jade um, Stampin' Blend. And, and that's all I've used on there. It was just pretty much stamping in black and coloring it in to make it look like the background. the stay cool card so this one I try to match up my colors with my background paper which is really easy because it lists it in the book so I'm just going to grab my book here and they usually always list them so for these colors we're got So for the colors, we got um, a Balmy Blue, Basic Black, Calypso Coral, Fresh Frisia, Just Jade, Misty Moonlight, and Soft Sea Foam. So those are the colors that are in that tree. So I used those colors to um, um, into it so it would kind of match. And it matches up really great. So that's what I did with that one. Um, I just used the white cardstock and just jade uh, cardstock for it and then colored it in with all of those colors. And then the next one is, and again that is the, again that is the Snowbody Better stamp set. And this Nobody Better stamp set is on page 28 of the mini catalog, and it's $29 for that one. But it's so super cute. And like I said, it's got great staying. And so I made a one more with this one. Um, so it says, we would melt without you. I made that one. Um, that's also using the Penguin Playmate Designer Series paper. Um, also has the, the Stampin' Blends, uh, Just Jade Stampin' Blends. Um, I used the Memento ink to get the, to stamp it down. Um, Misty Moonlight, um, Clips of Coral, Soft Sea Foam. Balmy Blue um, Stampin' Blends and Cardstock. Um, so I did the Balmy Blue as the background for this one. I thought it was Jane and Joan. I like that saying. So my glasses are broken and I can't get them fixed until I get buy a new pair which are $800. So I am going to do that in September, so I just have to wear my broken ones for now. So you gotta excuse me as they pop off my face. <laughs> oh man. So Punch Out Snowman card is this one here. So this one I also used the um, Snowman Seas in. And I also used the Punch. So these are continued. So these um, other stamps, like this one, I've used so many times, it's Smith's Colored. You can see it at the back there. Love the stamp set. Um, the thing is that um, this one carried over into the annual catalog, which is super exciting. And so that is my card there. So for that one, I used the uh, Misty Moonlight for the car uh, card stock. I used the Memento ink to stamp them in, and then I colored them in with... Um, with the Misty Moonlight, and then I used Fresh Frisia, I used um, Crumb Cake, and then Basic Gray. Not Basic Gray. That's not what it's called. Um, I 
But anyway, so those, I used the gray, but I can't remember which one because I didn't write it down, so that's not helpful. <laughs> but anyways, I just used Stampin' Blends for that one, and then I punched it out using the punch here, which was also carried over into the annual catalog. So we're now going to go on to our next set of items. Alright, and this one's using the so on page, it's called Peaceful Prints. It's on. It's a designer series paper on page eight of the celebration flyer, and I'm going to show you that quickly. This one here, this one goes really well with the punch and stamp set inner book with the gear. Um, but I did not buy that one because I couldn't buy everything out of the catalog this year. Excuse me, couldn't buy anything or sorry, everything out of the catalog this year. Um, but I did really like this paper. Um, so I did a whole bunch of things with this one. Um, so I started with um, using the snowflakes. So on page, they're called Wonderful Snowflakes, Wonderful Snowflakes, and they're on page 25 of the mini catalog, and you can see them there, and you can press them out, and they're kind of like a, almost like a foil kind of texture, um, so they don't, or they're not really flimsy, kind of like a plasticky, I can't even explain it, it's pretty cool, but um, they're pretty awesome. So I made this one. And the only thing I used for that one is the Wonderful Snowflakes, um, the Peaceful Prints Designer Series Paper, and uh, basic white cardstock. So that's all I used for that one. It's a pretty simple card, very easy, and you could make a whole bunch of them similar and it would only take you a little bit of time to do them. So if you're making cards for everybody you know, um, it'd be a really quick card to make. And then the second one is very similar. Um, and the cool part about this one and the next card I'm going to show you is this um, This back is the backing of this paper. So it uh, continues, the design continues. And then the second one is my gear card. And there's a right way and a wrong way. There we go. I like the gears up, not down. And like I said, so this color is on, this one is on the back of this one. So it uh, goes with this gear. Uh, for the snowflake card, it's the same as this one. Um, so it's the Peaceful Prints Designer Series paper, and that's on page eight. Alrighty. So this one I also used the same. Um, I'm not getting my. There we go. So this one, and I also used the um, Peaceful Prints paper. And this is a Snow Buddy Better stamp set again, which is on page 28 of the mini catalog, and it's $29. Um, this is also has the Stampin' Blends Real Red Crumb Cake and Pumpkin Pie, and that's on page 122 of the annual catalog. And Stampin' Blends Pool Party, and that is on page 123 of the annual catalog. And then I use the Real Red 338 3, Cheer Ribbon, which is 20, um, page 28 of the mini catalog, and it's $9.50. And I will show you that up close. I just always think you do need, oops, it's unrolled itself. I do always think you do need red ribbon for 
um, the holiday Christmas season. It's just really pretty. I really like it. I'm actually going to be using the the Snowbody Better stamp set. So that's that one there. And all I did was I so the the colors are again listed on the pack. So all I did was I colored it in using the colors that are listed on the pack of color or the pack of paper. So that is Let me read you the color. So that is the uh, Cherry Cobbler Basic Black Garden Green Real Red and Sahara Sand. So those are the colors that I used to make the card. To blend them in. Alright, and so the next one is my checkered card. So this one's using the This one's using the Snow Wonder stamp set, which is one of my favorites, and this also carried over this year um, to the annual catalog. So I use the um, the Snow Wonder stamp set's on page 21 of the... Actually, it carried over... This one carried over to the mini catalog. Sorry, I was mixing it up with the other one. So this is the Wonder stamp set. It's $30 and it's on page 21 of the mini. So it carried over into the mini catalog, which doesn't usually happen. Usually we don't get many things carry over into the mini. And then I use the Snow Time... No time dies for the cutting them out, and they're forty-five dollars, and they're on page twenty-one of the mini. And then I use basic white cardstock, um, Sahara stand stamp set and cardstock, and then I use smoky slate blends, calypso coral, real red, balmy blue, and that's it for the stamp and blend. So that's all I use was it's a pretty simple card. And then for the bottom here, I just um, cut, uh, ripped it to make snow, because that's always fun to rip paper. Yes. Is there dies? Yes. It's, um, I think I said that already. Um, so the dies are on, called, the dies are called um, snow time dies, and they're on page 21 of the mini, and they're $45. So that's what cuts out him. The uh, snow I just did by myself. I just uh, ripped it. Alrighty. And so here's more of the... I don't know if I showed you the paper. So these are the papers. And I didn't show you that at first. Sorry about that. And so that's the free... You can get that free with um, a $60 order. So if you're doing a $120 order, then you get two items and so far and so forth. So every $60 item, you get one free item. And so that's the colors I'm using. And like I said, that was the Peaceful Prince. And then these are the snow, the dies that go with the Snow Wonder. And I'm missing one because I'm always using it for something else. So I'm missing a, uh, a um, label that's supposed to be there. Alrighty. Okay, so the next one is... my bunny card. So this one also carried over to the annual, um, the annual catalog, and that's Nature's Beauty. So that's the stamp set here, and it has a fox, a deer, and a little bunny on it. I'm just gonna 
to flip it back to that. Um, so the bunny card, I used the a Peaceful Prince Designer series paper, which is, like I said, on page 8 of the celebration. Nature's Beauty stamp set, which is on page 53 of the annual catalog, and that was carried over. Um, Evening Evergreen um, is the in-color cardstock, the 2021 to 2023 cardstock and stamp pad. So that's that dark green. Um, I used the Smoky Slate Stampin' Blends, which is on page 122 of the annual catalog, the Night of Navy stamp pad. Um, and that, that's what I did the little tiny sorry, dots there in the background. You can't see them very well, but they add the little bit of snow. And then I also used Smoky Slates, a Night of Navy, um, and then I just used basic white cardstock for the background of, or to stamp that. Alrighty, and then I made a cabin card using the Reflected in Nature. So the Reflected in Nature is right there. So now I have my pump going off of me and my glasses falling off. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to take those off for a little bit. They're driving me a little bit bonkers. So it's this one here. This was one of my favorite things. Um, I don't know, it reminds me of Sago Beach around that area where they do have houses on the lake. So they do have houses on the lake. Hopefully that didn't stop my presentation. Um, I have a, like I said, there's updates trying to update and I do not want them to update right now, but it's kind of forcing me to. <laughs> um, so that's, uh, it's really pretty and it does remind me of Sobel Beach and being up at, um, like especially if you're on a boat and you see the cabins while you go by, um, it's so, so beautiful. Um, so I did make, this one and this one uses the birch paper that's right here and it looks really pretty with that uh, background um, so I stamped it with um, sorry I stamped it with the Sahara sand is what I used for the background and then I used a piece of the same paper for here the Sierra sandpaper, and then I um, did with the soft suede. So stamp, soft suede stamp pad is how I stamped that, and then I stamped the same down here with the stamp of the same pad. And now this one's not a Christmas card. It says, "May your journey take you to many new and exciting places." So the um, sayings on this one are not really wintry or Christmassy related. They're kind of like an everyday. Um, but you can also use them as Christmas cards. So the it's I think it's kind of a cool cabin card. Um, and you can use it for a Christmas or not Christmas holidays or um, just to send a friend a note. And then my last one is the turtle card. So this one I also used that little hat I used last time. And I used the designer series pe paper, the Peaceful Prints, and that's what I'll give on page 8 of the Celebration Catalog. I used Garden Green Cardstock and Stamp Pad, which is 122 of the annual catalog. Um, I used the basic white cardstock. Um, I used the Shaded Spruce Stampin' Blends, um, the Soft Sea Foam Stampin' Blends, uh, the Real Red Stampin' Blends, and then I used the Perfectly Plaid Stamp Set, page 93 of the annual catalog, um, for the hat. And then I used the Stocking Dies on um, page, um, one, sorry, page, no, Perfectly Plaid Stamp Set. Oh, that was for the saying, sorry, that's for the saying there, the Merry Christmas. So that was the Perfectly Plaid. Um, stamp set, and that's page 193 of the annual catalog. And then I use the stocking dies, and that's uh, $42, and that's in the mini catalog. 
And I'll also use a sweet little stocking stamp set, which is on page 31, and it's $30 in the mini catalog. I also use the Memento Ink, um, the Turtle Friend Stamp, and the Turtle Punch. So that's page 56 of the annual catalog. And that's uh, that stamp set there. And that punch. And then I also use for the little hat, for the saying, I also use the perfectly plaid. So that has really nice sayings on it. And I also use. I use the sweet little stocking, the little hat, which is right here. And then I did it with the, cut it out with the dies. Alrighty, and then, last but not least, I also bought another, so I bought one stamp set for celebration, and then I bought, um, bought, three packs of paper because I really loved the paper and I thought oh I could get a lot more use out of the paper than the stamp sets plus I had a lot of the uh, stamp sets that were held over into the annual one <laughs> that's okay Joan that's what happens sometimes it grabs the wrong name it's probably because you talk to her so often so this one, um, we're going to show you the Be Dazzling 6x6, sorry, 6x6 specialty paper, um, which is on page 3 of the celebration. And this stuff looks like, I don't know, like a shiny disco ball. I can't explain it. It's so beautiful. But that's what it does look like, a shiny disco ball. And it's just beautiful. I just love it. So I made two cards that were really similar because, I don't know, I really liked the way the first one show, turned out. So I did the second one. Another stamp set here. So I did um, a little angel. So she's on page... And I'll show you the angel stamp in a minute. So the a little angel, she's on um, Angels of Peace. And she is on page 42 of the mini catalog. And she's $29. Um, so that is this stamp set here. And then I also did one similar. So this is my other one, and this one I used the Reflected in Nature stamp set for. And this Reflected in Nature stamp set is on page uh, 60 of the mini catalog. And for both cards, um, I did use the disco ball paper. And it's like a gold tinge, so I did use the uh, gold foil sheets. Oops, there we go. And I did um, emboss it with the Versamark, um, the Versamark, the heat tool, the stamping emboss powder, and then metallic set gold, um, metallic set, which is the metallic um, embossing powder, which is gold. And um, I just use the foil sheets for for that one and for sorry for this one. You can just see how it glows. Like so, that's the light through my window. It's just sparkly. It's so so sparkly. But I would suggest probably buying some gold to go with it. Um, I would think you could use other colors. Um, but I just. Those are the colors that I chose to use with it.
And that is it for my presentation today. I um, hope you loved it. Um, I do love all the new things out of the new celebration book and out of the mini catalog. There's so many things you can do with them. Plus, um, the, a lot of the celebration items go with the mini catalog. Um, so, you, so you can match them up pretty nicely. I do too, Joan. Thanks, Jane. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping that people would see them and really like what they saw. Um, I know in the book that the shimmery paper looks awful. <laughs> and it looks kind of silverish. It doesn't look gold. Um, so I really wanted to show that off. Yes, I really like the, the cabin one too, Joan. It was like one of the one of my favorites. There's also another cabin on page, which is the next thing I'm gonna buy. It's on page um, 37 of the catalog. And that's that cabin there. 37 should be on the next page too. Yep, right there. So uh, page 38 is this cabin and this cabin is just gorgeous and the suite with it is beautiful everything with it is gorgeous but I decided to pick the one cabin over the other one yeah the snowmen are really cute all right ladies um Have a great night and thank you for joining me for my first presentation. I'll be back tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Are you going to order the Peaceful Cabin, Jane? It's so gorgeous. Yes. I need, I'm going to order that eventually too. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Um, it should go from 6 till 7 like this one did. Um, and hopefully my sound is on and everything works out. Um, I hate when that happens. Um, like I said, every every usually week there's something new with Facebook. Um, so um, yes, I and I don't know all the ins and outs of it. It's actually kind of um, got so many things that I know nothing about. But anyways, have a great night. Oh no. Okay, that sounds good, Joan. But that'll be fun to be at the at the beach. <laughs> I would, I would ditch my presentation for the beach, too. <laughs> All right, ladies, have a good night. Thank you for joining me, and hopefully to see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.